The Galaxy S20 Sips Ultra is already making headlines months before launch, and for good reason. This phone is stirring up one of the biggest debates in the tech world right now. At first glance, all anyone can talk about is that massive new camera bump. It's noticeably larger, and people are wondering, why would Samsung go for such a bold design change without completely overhauling its camera sensors? Well, that's the twist. There's more going on here than just a bigger bump. Welcome back, viewers! Sam here! Make sure to hit that like button. Share this with your tech-loving friends and subscribe to stay in the loop because the S26 Ultra leaks are getting juicier every single week. Now, let's get into this. The Galaxy S26 Ultra's camera bump is around 4.5 mm thick, nearly double the size of last year's S25 Ultra. On paper, that sounds like just a couple of millimeters, but trust me, when you hold the phone, it will feel way more pronounced. Samsung made the phone itself thinner, just 7.9 mm compared to last year's 8.2 mm, so in order to fit the upgraded lens system, that bump had to grow. And this is where things get really interesting. Rather than adding new, massive sensors, Samsung is taking a completely different approach this year. It's focusing on optics. The main camera remains a 200 megapixel beast with optical image stabilization, but now paired with a wider f1.4 aperture lens. That's a huge improvement because a wider aperture means more light hits the sensor, giving you brighter, cleaner, and sharper images. Low, light photography. Expect it to take a big leap forward. And it's not just the main shooter. Leaks suggest Samsung is upgrading multiple lenses. The 50 megapixel ultra wide camera with autofocus is said to have a wider aperture too, improving dynamic range and making ultra wide night shots finally look good. There's also the 12 megapixel telephoto with f2.4 aperture and the 50 megapixel 5x telephoto, which Samsung seems committed to keeping for a few more years. Some fans are frustrated by this, calling it lazy, but Samsung might actually be playing the long game here. Think about it. The S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra already had some of the best zoom cameras in the industry. If Samsung can take that same hardware and make it perform even better through smarter lens design and processing, that's a win for users. Plus, bigger glass elements almost always mean sharper detail and less distortion. The larger bump isn't just for show, it's there to house physically bigger optics. And if you care about photography, that's exactly what you want. But it's not just hardware. The new Snapdragon chip rumored for the S26 Ultra will be doing some heavy lifting too. Better ISP image signal processing means faster, smarter image processing, which could finally eliminate that slight shutter lag people complained about in the S25 Ultra. Video capture should also get an upgrade with more stable frame rates and smoother HDR processing in real time. Now let's talk about design. The S26 Ultra is slimmer and that makes it feel sleeker in the hand but don't expect it to be dramatically lighter. The phone is said to weigh around 217 grams, just one gram lighter than the S25 Ultra. But considering it still houses the S Pen, a massive display, and a huge battery, that's pretty impressive. If Samsung really wanted to make it significantly lighter, they'd have to ditch the S Pen or shrink the battery. And that's not happening anytime soon. Speaking of the display, this might be one of the biggest reasons to upgrade. We're expecting a 6.9 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display, 120Hz refresh rate, HDR temp puff, and a rumored new privacy filter feature that reduces side angle viewing so strangers can't easily peek at your screen in public. That's a feature a lot of business users will appreciate, and it shows Samsung is paying attention to real world usability. Battery capacity stays at 5,000 mAh, but now with 60W wired charging, which should make topping up way faster than before. Wireless charging might get even more exciting. If Samsung adopts the new Chu 2 standard with magnets, we could see a wave of magnetic chargers and accessories similar to Apple's MagSafe ecosystem. That could be a game changer for convenience and third party accessory support. And let's not forget software. One UI 8 is expected to ship with the S26 Ultra out of the box, bringing AI, powered photo editing, better generative wallpapers, and smarter multitasking tools. Samsung's been putting a big emphasis on Galaxy AI, and this phone is likely where we'll see it fully come to life. Expect on device AI enhancements that make photo and video editing faster and more intuitive, possibly even real time object removal and scene relighting directly in the gallery app. Of course, all this doesn't change the fact that Samsung is reusing some sensors for the third year in a row. This is where opinions split. Hardcore enthusiasts want brand new hardware every single year. Others care more about what the phone can actually do. 
The truth is most users barely use their 5X telephoto lens regularly. For them, better main camera performance and improved low light shots matter a lot more. And if Samsung can nail that with better optics and software, then the S26 Ultra will still feel like a meaningful step forward. Compared to the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max, Samsung still holds the crown for true optical zoom. Even with Apple's 8X digital crop, the S26 Ultra's dedicated 5X lens gives more consistent results and better detail at distance. Add in Samsung's longer 10X hybrid range, and you're still getting one of the most versatile camera systems on the market. So, where does this leave us? The Galaxy S26 Ultra might not look like a revolution at first, but when you put all the pieces together, the slimmer design, bigger optics, wider apertures, faster charging, smarter display features, and upgraded processing. It feels like Samsung is refining the Ultra into its most polished version yet. It's less about flashy spec changes and more about making every photo, every video, and every moment look better than ever before. And that's why this phone is shaping up to be one of the most interesting Ultras we've ever seen.